5 ways our brains can be manipulated. Number 5. Brain Decoder The same parts of the brain are activated whether you're reading silently, listening to someone speak or thinking to yourself. If you're reading a text in a newspaper or a book, you hear a voice in your head. Scientists are trying to decode the brain activity related to that voice to create a medical prosthesis that can allow someone who is paralyzed or locked in to speak. By studying epileptics with electrodes implanted in their brains, scientists recorded which neurons in the temporal lobe fired when listening to someone speak. After learning that certain sets of neurons reacted to certain frequencies, they tried to build a brain decoder, an algorithm to determine which words someone was hearing based on the specific neurons activated in his brain. To see if their algorithm was accurate, the scientists tested it on another group of epileptics with implanted electrodes. The scientists were able to decode some of the words correctly, but their algorithm needs more work before it's accurate enough to use it. Now, think what would you hear if you used this on your dog. Number 4. The Compassion Pill Researchers at the University of California found that they could manipulate a person's level of compassion by altering the chemical makeup of their brain. They created an experiment to see how people will react to their compassion pill. In this experiment, participants were randomly given a pill, either tolcapone or a placebo. Usually used to treat Parkinson's disease, tolcapone extends the effect of the brain's chemical dopamine, which is linked to motivation and reward in the prefrontal cortex. After taking their pills, the participants were told to divide money between themselves and an unidentified stranger. Compared to the people who took a placebo, the participants who swallowed tolcapone were much more likely to share money equally with the stranger. Now, what would have happened if Hitler's personal doctor gave him tolcapone instead of meth? Number 3. Extreme Isolation Isolation, especially for people who are chronically lonely, can cause profound physical effects. It can cause higher rates of infection, elevated blood pressure, Alzheimer's disease and even dementia. The most disturbing effects appear to be mental. Extreme isolation, such as that of solitary confinement, can wreak havoc on the mind. From slowing time to hallucinations to deliberate brainwashing, the effects can be devastating. In 1961, a geologist on an expedition to the French Alps stayed underground without daylight for two months to observe the effects on his body. When he surfaced, his team members found that he experienced time shifting. He thought he was counting out 120 seconds when it was actually 5 minutes. In another experiment in 1993, Maurizio Montalbini stayed in a cave underground for 366 days. When it was over, he thought he'd only been there for 219 days. Researchers have also discovered that people isolated in darkness will usually alter their sleep-wake cycles to 36 hours wake, then 12 hours sleep. Social isolation can also produce hallucinations. Many experiments on the subjects couldn't be completed because test subjects were having such bizarre symptoms. Imprisoned in solitary in Iran, 32-year-old Sarah Short said, At one point I heard someone screaming, then it wasn't until I felt the hands of one of the friendlier guards on my face trying to revive me, then I realized the screams were my own. Number 2. The Creativity Jolt Alpha oscillations usually happen when we relax and close our eyes. They're linked to daydreaming, deep thinking, and idea generation. 20 volunteers 19 to 30 years old received the popular Torrance test of creative thinking twice. Once while they received electrical stimulation to their brains to create alpha oscillations and once with fake stimulation as a control. The volunteers didn't know when they received the real electrical jolts. The results were impressive. The participants averaged about 7.4% higher on their test scores when they received the real electrical stimulations. There may be an easier way to enhance your creativity. According to a study from 2009, colors can affect your imagination. If you want to generate more creative ideas, hang out in a blue room. If you want to be more accurate with activities like proofreading, then go to a red room. Number 1. Teleportation in this experiment, researchers not only created an out-of-body experience for their patients, the scientists then seemingly teleported these patients to various places in the room. To test how a human brain figures out where its body is placed, each participant in this latest study wore a virtual reality headset while laying in a brain scanner. Using cameras in another part of the room linked to the headset, 
the participant could see a stranger's body lying in the foreground with the participant's body seen in the scanner in the background. To create the out-of-body experience, a scientist touched the body of the participant, who only saw the stranger's body being touched exactly the same way. In a matter of seconds, the brain merged the sensation of touch and visual input from the new perspective, resulting in the illusion of owning the stranger's body and being located in that body's position in the room, outside of the participant's physical body. Now, imagine yourself being teleported by this brain scanner here. That's it guys, thanks again for watching, don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe for more shocking facts.